Hey everybody, this is Darla again. Um, I'm, I wanted to get back on here. I told you I was going to go over some of the items I bought for my vacation coming up this summer. And if you see my video the other day, I did a video on a Macy carry-on bag backstage. And I decided that wasn't really what I needed. Uh, in the meantime, while I was trying to figure that out, I went through my stash of stuff. And I found this. Now this here is a laptop bag. That's the whole purpose of it. And I did take it one other time years ago when I went, you know, before the pandemic. This one's nice because it does have a, a pouch back here that goes the full length of the bag, as you see. So that's great. It's easy access. Okay. Um, the front little flap here also has a zipper that is the length of that uh, little pocket there. So you can stick, you know, your little IDs or little purse in there or whatever you're going to carry. Now, it has a handle right here. It also has this long strap and it's got the little padding for your shoulder. It's adjustable. On the side, it has a little pocket here, a little pocket there, and on the other side, it has this little mesh bag, probably for your water bottle. Now, when you, uh, when I had this the other day, I was looking at it. Uh, this little, uh, this little tab right here, this little locket thing, was missing, and I thought I lost it. And I was like, oh, can I get that repaired? Can I, you know, do something with it? Well, when it came off, it just slides off. It's like a belt, you know, it adjusts this. Can you see? Adjusts this. Adjusts this. It adjusts and, and slides to the length you want it. And I had stuck it in one of these pockets, so I had it. It goes right in there and it locks, which I like. Nothing's going to fall out of here, you know, if it's under the plain seat. So you open it up, and right here you have, knock this back, so you have little pockets right here. You also have a little pocket that has uh, four pins, little spaces, so there's four little pockets. And there's also another zipper, let me get this off, little zipper that goes here, and that goes to the length of the bag. So you can put quite a bit of stuff in here. When you open it up inside, I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's uh, just a plain bag. It has a separate little compartment over here for your laptop with a little tab that goes across to secure it in there. And there's no pockets or anything in there. This, like I said, was my son. I don't know what brand it is or anything like that. It's not the fanciest um, bag. You have to excuse me, I don't really have makeup on because I had eye surgery. I can't wear makeup for like probably a month now. <laughs> He's not using it anymore. This was a bag he had a long time ago for, he was carrying his laptop to a, a job he had. And like I said, I've used it before. I could put quite a bit of stuff in here. now. And it doesn't cost me anything because I already had it. I have this bag that was given to me at Christmas one year, or my birthday, I don't know which. And this bag, it she zips up the sides, you know. She's got zippers on both sides. And when you open her, she lays flat. I call everything she, sorry. She's got a little zipper pot, pocket here. And it's got the mesh breathable pocket and then on this side she's got a zipper and probably for you know something that might leak but my thought is that I'm going to use this to put my tripod that I have my phone on right now that I bought and you know my cords my cords for my computer all of that I'm gonna put in here I also bought this item, which I'm going to put in this bag, it is a tough shield, I believe. It's a cup holder for your phone. I got it mainly for my GPS. Talk to you and everything, and I just didn't want to hold it while driving because we're gonna. I'm going to be going on road trips when I go. And you turn this right here, 
push her, push her out so see she expands up. She turns either way so you can have her all kinds of way, ways. And here she, uh, you can loosen or tighten to get a different size for the cup holder so it's secure uh, in your car while you're driving. It'll also be good because I'm going to be filming while I'm home too. And it'll be great to, uh, you know, if I'm filming in the car, uh, of our adventure. So this would be great also. So I got this on Amazon. Um, I'll have to link link it down below where I got it. But yeah, it looks pretty sturdy. It's solid. It feels good. I mean, it's plastic. All, all this stuff is made out of plastic anymore. So my thought is, you put this with the rest of my equipment in the bag. We go right down here and see she fits right inside there. And then I can just pull her out. There's all my cords for my phone, for my computer, you know, any of the equipment I take. So I, I got that. Have this. I had mentioned this before in my other video. This is a little uh, pouch I was talking about. Uh, let's see if I can get that name up there. That's what it is, a protection. So here she has two zipper po uh, pockets. That, you know, clothes, and they're, you know, the length of the item. Here's one in the back that's just a little mesh. This here is a protected, so nobody can read your cards. If you got your cards in here, they can't scan it from far away and get your information. I took this, I bought this to go to Scotland when I went. I like it because it has this enormous cord on it with a little toggle switch, toggle switch or whatever you call it. And you can make it any length you want, which I like. See, all the way up or down. And I like this because a lot of times I like to put my money in here, my cards, and wear it under my armpit. You know, it's going to be harder for somebody to grab it from you. Uh, but I plan on taking to the airport with my IDs in there. I have easy access on this side. I also have a waterproof uh, clear ID. Well, it's actually a phone holder that I may use also to put my IDs in there so I don't have to take them out. They could just scan them through the, you know, whatever they need to do with it. So this is going to be my little purse. That's why I needed a pocket because I wanted, uh, you know, carry this, but I still want something for my lips, you know, because the airplanes, are, they're so dry. Also, I found, I'm so glad, I, I knew I had it. I just couldn't remember where I had put it. But this here... I bought at Walgreens years ago when I started traveling. And it's a little makeup pouch. Now she zips, has two zippers to zip it up. Two little handles. And so she opens up like this. Okay. This one side, you've got this little zipper pocket here that goes down the length of the bag. And in front, you got these little stretchy uh, that you could put, you know, your makeup in there or anything else that you didn't want to, you know, be moving around. Now, on the other side, you've got the little plastic pocket. You know, if you do have stuff that may spill, you're afraid to spill, you can put it in there. Where this one, you know, uh, it's kind of like the nylon. Over here, uh, you got a little zipper part. And it's got a little mesh, so something breathable. You know, maybe your powders or eyeshadows. I don't take a lot of makeup home when I go. I take a little palette of maybe multiple colors. And I take very minimal makeup. That's all I need. So it, on the front of this little flap, oh, let me get it here. Get kind of, on this little flap, when you close that, it's got this little for like all my brushes. You can put quite a bit of stuff in here because it, ex you know, it expands out. It's got a little bit of width to it. Now my thought process is I have this S hook and I'm gonna sew a little tab right here so I can hang it. You know, I've seen a lot of these. You hang them, they're hung on the shower door in your hotel room. So that way, all your makeup, all your stuff, you know, I'd probably put it on this end so the little flap would stay closed. And that way I have access to all my makeup, or I could just, I'll have that little flap, I can lay this down, zip it up, 
and you know I could have it on the counter also laying there uh, this here is the brand let me get the brand name I'll put the links down below I don't know I think Walgreens has a, this line of little items it's a um, Modella so if you want to see right there I can hold still for you guys Modella <laughs> And uh, they have quite a few little um, pouches and stuff like that for travel, I think. Now, I haven't really looked at this stuff in a long time, so I don't know if Walgreens still carries it, but it's something to look at. So I am so happy I found that because those are quite, quite pricey. So that saves me some money there. I've already saved 50 some dollars by turning that bag in. I also bought these little containers here. And I thought they would be great for, uh, I think I got these at the dollar store or they could have been at Michael's. Uh, but they're, they were only a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five. And I thought these would be great for my makeup wipes or I could put, you know, my makeup in there or anything really. And I thought they could go right in there too because I could do my sanitizer wipes. Because, you know, you get those little sanitizer wipes things that when you open them sometimes you feel like they're going to dry out so maybe this will a little protect it a little more i also have a spray bottle which i'll be using for my bug spray because i told you the bugs love to eat me up out there so i got me a little spray bottle i also have extra little spray bottles like this because i love to make me a little potion and put in there usually i make grapefruit and lavender with water uh, i can spray in my face uh, most people don't get offended because it's citrus so sometimes i notice a little uh nozzle uh quits working now it could be because of the product you put in there might have stuff in it i don't know but uh it's always good to have extras of those got this little kit it was a little kit that was marked down so you see they got the little bottles they got a little container there and a little scrubby now i have bottles because I bought all this years ago when I was traveling. And instead of taking a big jar of face cream, I can put it in a little tiny jar. So I've always done that. But I haven't traveled for a long time. And when I pull these containers out, I don't know what kind of condition they're in. Because they're all plastic. Some are rubber that may last a little longer. But a lot of these cheap plastic ones, they don't last that long sometimes and it depends on where they're stored at and you know it's hot out here so so i anyway i got extras of those i also got this water bottle i bought this years ago too it's a uh britta okay and what i like about this water bottle he has this little charcoal filter so no matter where i get the water uh, this will filter it out and i've tested it it's it's a great now i did buy me some more filters i went uh ordered them on walmart had them i think they were they weren't very much you got a, a three pack for maybe 12 bucks it was under 20 bucks i know that uh for a three pack because i had a filter in there but because i haven't traveled for so long i thought you know i don't know about that filter you know it's been years since i actually used this bottle when I traveled so I said to be on the safe side I'll get me some more filters I like this she's got a little cap too oh where's my little cap <laughs> but you know they say you take and uh, put your water in there and freeze it and it doesn't count as a liquid which I think is uh great she's a little plastic you know a rubbery uh she stood up pretty good and that way I could take my own water and not worry about, you know, paying my arm and leg. I can just get out of the water faucet and, and use it. And here in Nevada, uh, I don't mind the water at all. I drink the water from the faucet. I do have a little filter on my water um, to drink. I'm going to take a drink. But our water system here in Las Vegas is very good. Uh, we get updates on on uh, all of all about our water and what they're doing to it. I think not too long ago, probably about a month ago, they were going around putting in new water pipes in the street, changing out the old ones, you know, when we got the in infrastructure money. <laughs> 
So our governor is putting it to use and changing water pipes and, you know, stuff like that. So the water here, if I go to the airport and fill it up after I go through check through a checkpoint, uh, that would be great. It's right there on the side. Nice little bottle. So this is what I'm going to use. And I think this would be great. I, I've taken my laptop because I do my banking every day on there. Um... I do my socializing, but for genealogy also, because we will be doing genealogy when I go home. <sighs> Whew. I am so glad I found these items. I am so glad because that saved me so much money. You know, yeah, I bought a couple little things for a dollar or something. Uh, you know, a couple of these. This was like a dollar, I think, my little spray bottle. But most of the items, you know, I had on hand and I could reuse uh, and I love that. So, with that, I just wanted to give you an update and let you know that this is the items that I'm going to be using for my trip. This is getting a little long here, so I'm going to have to edit it. Try to get my little videos out because, as you know, I'm getting eye surgery again next week on my other eye. So, well, I think that's it. We're going to call it a day. And I'll talk to you later, alligator. Bye!